Hey y'all, how are you? Uh, my name is Chris Brackett and I play in a band called Divided by Zero. Um, as many of you know, I've been pretty sick for the past five years, but uh, I'm starting to, to work on my new record. Um, I've built a studio somewhere around uh, the Springfield area of Fort Mill, South Carolina. Um, pretty private very cool um and i was just going to kind of show you how i'm breaking some stuff down for some acoustic guitar tones for the new record um and if you have any questions please please feel free to reach out to me but um like i said i'm in, in welcome studios um i just got finished building it and uh, very happy with everything I have. Uh, the whole room is sound treated. I don't know if you can see that, but I've actually put all the sound treatment behind my artwork, which gives it a very, uh, you know, not so uh, that acoustic foam tile everywhere, um, but gives it a better and more creative aesthetic um, in here, I've got some stuff from some of my great friends, you know, uh, Joseph Arthur and uh, Robert Childers. Um, I think his dad, David, has got some stuff around here. Uh, of course, my, my artwork, uh, which is always for sale. Um, I've got this, this new owl thing I'm working on, but uh, so yeah, so I just kind of wanted to tell you guys kind of what's going on. Um, lots of exciting news going on, uh, music-wise, and um, I can't wait uh, for you guys to hear the record. Uh, our plan is to to get a single out by at least the spring, and then the full EP will be released um, shortly after that. But uh, the guys that are in the band, um, you might have and might not have heard before, but uh, one of my very dear friends, um, David Little, he's a Grammy-nominated mastering and mixing engineer, is the other guitar player, one of the other guitar players in the band. Um, my brother, actually, Corey Brackett, is um, in the new project. Um, Rob Thomas' solo bass player is uh, doing the record. His name is Al Buggy Cardi. What a bad man he is. If you don't know who he is, please look him up. And um, I'm not sure who the drummer is going to be. Many of you know that I, I, I was a drummer my whole life, but due to you know some circumstances, my my legs just aren't as due to my my uh, bilateral hip replacement. My legs are just not strong enough as they used to be, and so I don't know if I want to play drums on the record or if I want to get uh, a couple other people that I know that have reached out that said it would be no problem and. One of those guys is Jimmy Ski, and he is awesome. You should check out some of his work. Um, another thing that's going on in the studio, uh, one of my very dear friends and a muralist, um, Jason Parker, is actually I'm, I'm going to produce his next EP, and uh, and so that that's uh, that's fun, but. Uh, so it's the day before Thanksgiving, and then obviously Christmas rolls around right after this. So um, I'll be starting to put an online campaign together ab about a uh, Your Name Here Records. And uh, yeah, so um, we've been asked to kind of do some several... Uh, several kind of rig rundown-ish type things. So um, I'm using, and this room is a tracking room that I could do everything but drums in. So drums are generally done at a, at a separate location, um, and then the project file is transferred to here and to David Littles. And uh, so um, I've got an array of, cool array of, of guitars. I've got some 
Go Top, Les Pauls, um, uh, Les Paul Jr., Mary Kay Strat, a um, couple of pretty rad acoustics. Uh, one telly uh, that my brother actually built when he was in luthier school uh, has been drug out of retirement and used a lot. And a um, couple other various tellies and some grunches and, you know, that kind of stuff. But um, pedals and, you know, different fuzz, fuzz faces and stuff like that. But... I was going to kind of show you how I'm going about doing acoustic tracks within uh, Logic Pro X. Um, I am using a, uh, I found that, that, you know, the ribbon mics are awesome and, and great for acoustic guitars, but I've done a lot of shootouts and uh, my Shure SM7B through the Cloud Lifter into the UA Apollo X is just freaking awesome uh it sounds great so i run two different mics on those i run uh the sm7b um just for the the bottom end and um and then i run i run a, a um a buyer dynamic for um the more mid-rangey tone put those in the box blend them together uh, also use a uh, we use a a program from Fishman called the Aurora and I think there's something like between 125 and 150 or so um, acoustic presets so um, you know but I still like to get as close as I can um, to the real thing so um, and always have been a huge in Dorsey um, and thankful that um, that they're still around and they make great great cans but uh, the audio technica close backs are just they're my thing um, so uh, yeah we're gonna go over a couple of couple of acoustic guitar parts uh, for this I'm using um, uh, 1967 um, Epiphone. Um, I can't ever remember the model number of this guitar, but I'll tell you later. But anyway, it's 1967. It's one of the only guitars, acoustic guitars, that I've ever found that um, that that it is exactly one octave from the top to the back and it's amazing and like the the harmonics and stuff that you get beautiful sounding guitar um okay i'm gonna try to track track uh, a little bit of acoustic guitar and We'll see what happens but uh thank you guys for your interest i really appreciate it i want to do some more stuff like my artwork and um all kinds of stuff so i'm trying to blow out my black my back catalog for uh my art stuff so make me an offer and we'll see what's going on not an offer a reasonable offer how about that <laughs> go hope you guys have a great thanksgiving um uh, thanks for tuning in again leave uh leave your questions comments at the bottom and i'll uh i'll be more than happy to to answer your questions for you um you know we're all just walking each other home so if there's anything that i can do to to be a help with anybody or if you're a singer songwriter and you're looking for a, you know a glorified EP or whatever, I'd be more than happy to take a look at it and produce it, and um, we can do everything at Welcome Studio. So, hello and welcome. <laughs>
All right, so that's kind of how I'm getting my acoustic signals going into the um, UA Apollo um, Twin X. And uh, just worth mentioning, I'm not using any of the uh, the plugins that are that you have to pay for. Although I have some of those uh, for acoustic guitars, I've, I've been really, really, really happy with the. Um, with just some of the preamps that are in the box and uh again if you want to talk to me about some of that stuff and uh i can give you some of my suggestions they're not right they're not wrong they're just opinions and uh yeah so again happy turkey day and we'll talk soon thanks a lot for tuning in uh later <laughs>